this is my favorite move on top. First, I'm going to start with the breakdown and then go into the, my uh, tight waist tilt. Um, best way to set this up to get wrist control for me was a spiral ride. All right? Key points of a spiral ride is to imagine them as a table, and I'm going to control three points of the table. All right? I'm going to control this arm with my shoulder and with my claw right here. Controlling this arm, okay, my head over here, that puts a little weight on this arm, but not enough. This arm really doesn't matter. This is the only arm, only supporting point that's going to take them. This arm, thigh pride, and then my hips will control this other side. Alright, this knee and my hips will control this other side. So I'm going to control one, two, three points of the table. This arm is not going to be able to support his whole body. Alright. So, the key point of the, my spiral ring is that I want to break him down to his elbow so I can attack his wrist. Okay, so I'll get it, I've got the claw, I pull it into me, okay, use my head right there, push down, got my thigh pry, and then I'm going to control my hips right here. Okay, I'm not going to drop all the way to my hip, alright, I'm just going to get right here and then use my hips right here to increase my pressure. So if I'm right here, then I start to use, use, use my hips. That will create more pressure. He, right there, if he gets to this point, I can just pull him to that hip, and he goes to his elbow. Then I can attack that elbow. Okay. Now when I attack, when he hits his elbow and I attack that wrist, all right, I want to get as much out of that wrist ride as I can. I want to be able to rotate his wrist under as much as I can. All right. So one of the key thing is when I attack this wrist, just stay up. Give me your wrist. I don't want I don't want my thumb in the way. Okay. So I'm going to take it like that, and I'm so I can curl it as much as I can. My thumb's in there. It limits me on how far I can curl it into his body. No thumb there, I can go further and further. Okay, so now I'm going to go from the spiral to taking his wrist to getting that control right there. Okay. With the blows and my spiral, pull it down. He's on his elbow. Now I can attack his wrist right there. Tap it, suck it under. Now that I got sucked under, I need my shoulder into his back right there. And I'm going to continue using my hips to control them down and keeping them down on the mat. Right here. Okay. Now that I'm right here, all right, I'm in full control of his, of his hips and his arm and whatever he does. Okay. It's going to be a fight for him to come up to his feet. You can check a little bit. I just butt drag back down. Now that we're right here, okay, I got to where I want him to be, okay, to set up my tight waist. I'm going to release the pressure a little bit, and he's going to come up to his hip, to his base. That leaves a tight waist right there. Okay, so I'm right here. I'm just going to come back over right here, and what's he going to do? He's going to come up, get my tight waist right there, and then I'm going to just drive, like in freestyle, a gut wrench. All right, I'm just going to drive over this arm like a gut wrench, and finish in a tilt position. Now that I'm in that position to finish, okay, I'm going to drive over the shoulder at a forward angle. Okay, I'm not just going to roll, roll to the side, I'm driving forward. Okay, so I'm right here, drive forward into my cradle. Right there. My knees are in the air. My knees are in the air, and my heels are as close to my butt as I can get them. That creates a cradle, a basket, for him to sit his hips in so I can control him and get exposure from my points. I got my wrist and my tight waist. Now I'm going to drive forward and then load him into my hips like a gut wrench or a basket or a cradle. Drive right forward. There. Now he's loaded in my hips. Okay, my knees are in the air. Heels are in my left. Got my control. 
So if he turns away from me, okay, I'm just going to keep and pinch my elbows to my body. Alright? And now if I'm not getting points, all I have to do is elevate this leg right here. And that will take his shoulders over to the exposure. Okay. Now if he turns into me, okay, right there, if I get to this point, okay, I just need to kick his feet out and then come back up on top. Okay. 